Hi everybody, it's Colette Baron reed and welcome to this week's Oracle Card Guidance and Lesson. This is so great. You guys have been all writing in saying how much you loved the astrology reading last week and how accurate it was. And when you pick your numbers and stuff, I wanted to mix it up and it's so encouraging. So we're going to do some fun things today. A bunch of you sent in questions and I think maybe every week, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. If you send me questions, then we're going to answer them. So I'm going to go through the questions that you guys wrote in and uh, I haven't looked at them yet, so I'm going to see what they are. I'm just going to go blind and here we go. Alexandra says, when you say this reading is for everyone, it's a good question. Do you mean everyone tuning into the Oracle reading or everyone in the whole wide world, regardless if they consciously work with Oracle messages or not? That's a good question because you would say, oh, here it is. This is the energy, all of us. When I say all of us, no, it's like a rock is going to be a rock until it becomes an Oracle, right? Until it means something, until there's a reason for it. So it's just for us, for anybody who watches this, something of value is going to come to you via synchronicity. So it's really different. Whereas astrology is a fixed system and it tells you that every single person on the planet is affected by certain planetary influences that are going on for literally the collective population of the globe. But on an individual basis, you're going to have a unique experience. Whereas the Oracle readings are really for the people who watch it right now. You could say, Oh, wow. You know, this really pertains to my husband or somebody close to you, but they're in your sphere of availability. They're in your circle. So, you really have to judge that for yourself. I've always seen this as for the people who see it. Okay. So, um, now let's go through the next question. My clothes and jewelry. I love this. I love your clothes and jewelry. <laughs> How do I get that look? That's very cute. Um, so a lot of my clothes are from an Australian designer named Camilla Franks. Um, so you'll see a lot of the stuff there. I'm very boho. I go to free people. Where else do I shop? I don't know. It's like, you know, anything that's bohemian, you can say, Ooh, call it would wear that. And that's, that's me. Um, Ooh, Nicoletta. I love your new format for sure. To be sure I understand correct the astrology part. If my moon, sun and rising sign or ascendant, which is the rising sign is the ascendant, three different zodiac signs. Does it mean that I take personal, the, the readings for those three signs? Yes. So remember in my reading, and you're going to see it today, you're going to choose one out of six. So that's what you're going to pick a number from one to six. I'm going to tell you what that card is. That's a theme. Then I'm going to tell everybody the theme for the entire week. We have a crystal spirits Oracle. That's going to help also us understand the nature. And it does it. I, we do find that it does match up with astrology, but I always feel that once the Oracle is awakened, it's by the person who watches it. Then I'm going to choose a card for every single one of the signs. So yes, let's say you are a cancer son. You would read cancer. You would read the card that I got for cancer. And let's say you have a Libra ascendant, then you'll also read the Libra card. You'll do it in a row. You would go sun ascendant moon. That's how you'd read it in three, or you can mix them up. It's bottom line is you got three more cards. So if you want to put the card you pick from one to six with your three cards for the three different aspects of your uh, chart, you'll get a really accurate reading. And that's what you guys are all telling us. You're writing in and we we've never had this many emails about the way we are doing things. And then we love that you love it. So I'm going to keep doing it. So there's a bunch more, which we'll answer next week. But if you have a question about how the readings work, not about a personal reading for you, but specifically about the readings, you know, how it's done, how you can apply it to yourself. Um, anything you want to ask about my earrings. <laughs> anyway, we love reading them and we're really quite inundated right now with all your comments and uh, emails to our site. So I'm actually thrilled because, you know, you kind of try to figure out what you guys are going to like and all of a sudden, bam, you love it, which is great. So let's move on to the actual reading. Now we know 
it's Labor Day. We know we're right into September now. Summer's officially, well, summer's not officially over, but it kind of is. We sort of want to go back to work. I love it because I feel like going back to school. And we had such an amazing, amazing um, launch for Oracle School. Um, the doors are closed now too. This is now I'm going back to school. I'm going to teach school next, which is fantastic. So we're in kind of life school too right now. So if you pick a number between one and six, let's go through the cards first, then I'll tell the story of how they fit together. So if you picked card number one, just pick your card, write, write it down so you don't cheat. <laughs> card number one is soulmates. So that means that soulmates, friendships, people you genuinely love that you really know are in your life for something very specific. Sometimes it could be painful, like, like uh, a person that really freaks you out and you know you have to come to the table because you had to learn something from you bumping into that person. Or it's somebody that you genuinely love, like my husband for sure is my soulmate and I've known that since the day I heard his voice. I have so many friends that are, I could call my soulmates and also people who I've bumped up against, right? So soulmates is that card number one, that's what you wanna be thinking about this week. Um, card number two is serendipity. Serendipity is all about meaningful coincidence, like this Oracle reading. So if you like, oh, pay attention to synchronicities this week and they're going to be fortunate. So remember sometimes synchronicities can be bumpy, but these are not, these are the really good opportunities that you have this week. If you pick card number three, your card is mending. And we get that card a lot lately, all summer actually, we got that card a lot. So it's really an opportunity for, to forgive, forgive yourself. Sometimes we think that we should know everything all the time. I certainly don't. I'm always in the process of learning. Even if the road is super bumpy, you got to pick yourself up and go, okay, where can I do better? Can I, you know, reach across the divine and make amends? How do I knit my world back together when sometimes we poke our own holes in it and other times the world outside of us can also create a rift, right? So it's all about forgiveness for you. Card number four is the fates. So that's the card that reminds us that many times we're going to bump into situations in life that are seemingly like out of the blue that are, that you go, well, that was meant to be. Like I know it was totally fate that I met my husband. It was totally fate that I met somebody in London who connected me with Hay House. It's totally fate that I had certain people in my life. So look at the fated aspect of your life where you know you didn't get up in the morning and order it in the, on the universe's menu. It's just like, wow, those kind of things. So you're going to focus on those. Card number five is Yang. Now Yang, if you pick card number five, is all about energy. So there's a lot of excess energy. You're going to want to exercise this week, but it's also about action. What's your action plan? You're going to want to look at that for yourself this week. And last but not least, card number six is exchanging gifts. It's all about the law of reciprocity for you. So that's going to be about what I put in I'm, is what I'm going to get out. So remember that your giving and receiving is, is a cycle, right? So you can't just give, give, give and not receive because that's a way of controlling things. You have to be very aware this week of this reciprocal consciousness of the world. Even for example, when you think about prosperity, you're looking at compassionate prosperity rather than I get this for me. You say, oh, if I get this for me, how will it affect others and in what positive way? So that's what we're going to be looking at. Now, I'm going to tell the story of all six cards, okay? So if you put them together as a story in motion, and this is for all of us, it's a really, really interesting story because it talks about if you have soulmates, serendipity, mending, and the fates, it's a good possibility that you might run into somebody from your past. Maybe you left an old friendship behind and you bump into them and you haven't seen them in years and you have an opportunity to reconnect and rekindle an old friendship. So it's again, it's just sort of you bump into each other. You weren't planning this, but it's a beautiful opportunity to mend something. So you want to mend something with someone else. This is what this means. Um, the other thing is that if you look at Yang, it means take the action. Don't wait, don't hesitate. It's, it's the card that says, absolutely don't hesitate. And then the exchanging gifts is, it's like the hug, right? It's like, oh wow, I'm so happy to see you and, and what are you doing and, and what could we do together? And, and even if you don't do anything for that person specifically or they do something for you, just the act of reconnection sometimes 
is a healing thing. I just ran into somebody recently that I haven't spoken to in years. We had a bit of a falling out when we separated. And now we're like, it's every, like we laugh. It's like, oh my God, that was so crazy. We were so nutty. <laughs> so, so this is the week to have this beautiful opportunity to forgive someone else, to uh, offer amends, to give a hug. Um, if you bump into somebody, don't cross the street and run away. Go up to them and say, hey, because we're all in this together, even if we are stumbling in our destiny path. Okay, now, lithium quartz is the card, lithium quartz is the card that is the overarching theme. We say, what crystal spirit, what do crystal spirits have to say about all of this this week for everybody? I got a kick out of this because it is about harmonious relationships. So none of this should be scary. Like if you bump into that person, you're like, oh my God, there's my ex. Ah, I don't want to talk to him or her. Like, go ahead. They might be feeling the same thing. Or, you know, again, like an old friend you haven't seen and you're like, oh, do I want to talk to them? You'll be shocked. There's something beautiful. A gift is going to come out of that connection. And both of you will benefit. Both of you will benefit. Don't be scared. Okay. Lithium quartz, harmoniousness, peacefulness, and joyful interconnectedness. I'm going to read this. Becoming still calms the activity in our heads and put us back in touch with our bodies our spirits and the conscious universe. Um, so it appears as a reminder to get quiet and recognize that you have everything you need within you, all that you need. You just need to amplify some of the qualities that could bring you a sense of joy and fulfillment by giving them quiet, calm, centering attention. Overstimulation can be distracting. We want to avoid that. So refresh yourself with some time spent in and around nature or nature's creatures <laughs> Did you hear my dog growl? She sounds like a little bee. <laughs> well, okay. Whether it was a furry, warm animal or a pond with fish swimming happily, retrain your senses to recognize that all is well. Um, when you are tuned in to the rhythms of the earth and aware of the interconnectedness of all things, the water, the sky, yourself and the ground beneath your feet, the breeze and the birds flying from tree to tree, Turn your face to the sun, recognizing that just as you drink in its rays, you're always drinking in the pure joy and love available to you from the conscious universe. Today is a day for expecting and experiencing peacefulness, harmony, and happiness. And we're talking about this for the week. So here's the relationship message, given that these cards were saying like we might run into somebody and we want to have like a big hug, a hug fest. Okay. Peacefulness in partnerships comes from being willing to trust that there is more than one way to make things happen and more than one way to think or act. Just as in nature, you can partner with another who brings strength to places where you are weak, even as you do the same. We are meant to support each other in our healing and growth, balancing each other, which is why opposites so often attract. Let yourself appreciate the harmoniousness that arises when you allow yourself to be different from another, yet unified in love and joyful interconnectedness. I love that. I love that reading for this week. Now it's time for our astrology and oracle stars and cards. We're going to do this. So remember, if I call your sun sign, you're going to read that card as your first card. You're going to read your ascendant as your second card, and you're going to read your moon as your third card. And you're going to remember that card that you picked from one to six. That one is going to fit in here too. So those are going to be your four specific personal cards for the week beyond the general, general reading that I gave for everybody. And um, if you want to go to my website also to choose your cards from there, you can try out the Crystal Spirits deck. We're getting such great feedback from that. Um, it's so friendly. It's so happy, etc. We've got Mystical Shaman that I did with Alberto Bellaldo, and we've got uh, Wisdom of the Oracle and Spirit Animals. So go enjoy yourself on my website. Cards are free. Check them out and uh, write us. We want to hear all about it for next week. Okay, so let's start. First card is for Aries. I'm going to pull it from anywhere. Here and now, upside down. All right, so here and now in the protection position reminds all Aries, don't get too far ahead of yourself. <laughs> Stay in the now, don't go in the past, don't look in the past and don't look too far forward in the future. Stay present all the time, this week particularly. Taurus co-create in the protection position. That means you don't have to do everything by yourself. You have a partner. The partner is the conscious universe. You have to remember that it's not on, on your shoulders, right? So just remember that, yes, I have a partner. I don't have to do this by myself. So that's for Taurus. That's now for Gemini. 
we have all that glitter. So Gemini, and don't stay out on the surface. When you communicate with people, go deep. So it's really saying go past the shiny, sparkly part and have some good deep conversations this week. That's for Gemini. Now for Cancer, let's go to Cancer, truth be told. So this is really good. So just like be in your absolute authentic truth. Don't people please anybody, just put it out there and doesn't matter if people don't like it. And <laughs> let's go to Leo and Leo is thinker. So thinker is really good. Think before you speak. And that's going to be important this week. Think before, like don't do be overly spontaneous, really like back, back it down, get a little bit more grounded. Think before you make your move. Now Virgo is a fork in the road in the protection position. So Virgos, you can't afford to, uh, sit on the fence, like make any decision. Like, like this is like when you're in analysis paralysis, like get off the fence and just do anything at all. Just pick one thing to do. Otherwise you could get really stuck. Like, what do I do? Do I turn left? Do I turn right? Do I stand on my head? Do I go here? No, just do anything. And it'll get you out of that stasis that you might get into or anxiety because of your imperfectionism mode. That's for Virgo. This is for Libra. Perfect card for Libra, to be fair. You couldn't get a better card for Libra. It's all about balance, harmony, bringing harmony to others and your life. Um, now we're looking at Scorpio. Ooh, I love Scorpio. Scorpio, my moon is in Scorpio. Um, progress moon in Scorpio, serendipity. Lots of deep, meaningful, complex opportunities to see how spirit really does work in your life. Lots of synchronicities, pay attention to them this week. So you've got a double serendipity card if you did that. Um, so, uh, Sagittarius go the distance. Don't quit. Don't be a short distance runner this week. It's like the marathon, not the sprint. Let's look at Capricorn regeneration. So if Cap Capricorns, if you've had some period this summer where you've had to let things go, etc., this is a time when you have to really trust that things are going to get reborn. Basically it's a rebirth card. Um, and now we have Aquarius. A yin, which is be receptive Aquarius, allow yourself a little bit more warmth and, and self love and self worth. And it's a really concentrated decision to be receptive. So it's this, it is a conscious effort to not do, not think it out, not is to really go, okay, what is, what is my receptivity here? Like how can I tune in? What do you have to offer me? Listen, it's a card of deep listening. And last but not least is Pisces. Pisces, you feel a little, um, be careful not to feel buffered by events in your life this week. You know, when a change in the wind is in the, in the protection position, it feels sometimes like you feel like you're in the middle of storm fields and it's really about taking shelter, get in a nice soft blanket and have a cup of tea and don't worry that things are definitely going to settle for you. Just don't buy into the, you know, the anxiety, the anxiousness of like, ah, I can't control it. You can't guess what you cannot. That's what this is saying. You cannot control anything this week. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. My gardeners are here. My dogs are going to bark. <laughs> it's like pandemonium here. And leave a comment. We love to read them. And don't forget, click the notification bell and you'll get a notice every week when we load these up. I hope you love these astrology readings and the way we're mixing it up now. It gets a lot more personal. And please don't forget, write us, write us, write us. We're going to read them. And next week, I'm going to pick a few of the questions to answer. And let's just keep this great conversation going. We'll see you next week.